friends so I'm back with another unboxing for my shop Hillside Rookery on Etsy um, I have two packages that have come in one is from Hoffman and one is from Carriage House Samplings and they're big boxes and I'm really excited to go through them so I thought maybe if you wanted to you could go do it along with me I'm hosting a dinner tonight Friendsgiving and we're doing it Swiss style so we're gonna have broccolette um, and I'm very excited for that but uh, yeah I'm just waiting for that to happen and while I wait I thought I could um, you know, open some boxes and go through some beautiful patterns and then uh, I'll worry about listing them tomorrow so okay let's just dive right in what do we got first up Blackbird Designs casting a spell I restocking after some of the you know how, how I had um, dark October stitching um, tricks or treats these are little ornaments from Blackbird Designs. And I'm also getting ready for the winter season. So I got this joyous season. I think this is so pretty. Look at that house. Repeat the sounding joy is what it says at the top. It's really cute. I'm just restocking Earthly Treasures. restocking Feast of Friendship. Perfect time of year for that one. Actually, perfect evening in my case. Let me stick to that. Ghoul Tide Welcome from Plum Street Pampers. I feel like I order this one every time. Goodness and Plenty. Love those. I am going to add this one to the shop. This is Winter's Peace Sample Winter's Peace Sampler from Artful Offerings. That's so pretty. I think that would look beautiful. Like if you could I I would I love blue, but I might change that to red. Um and maybe stitch it on like a gold fabric. Ooh. And it says peace, which I like. Alright. Welcome, welcoming some more Olga to the shop. Always need more Olga. She's adorable. Making a mess. Away we ride. Gotta be careful, don't bend these. Here's another one that's a new one for the shop. This is also Artful Offerings Cranberry Christmas. That's another one I think will look great on gold fabric. Like Havana from Weeks Dye Works. That is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Christmas Mini Moon. Palm Street Samplers. I think this is really cute. This is Yuletide Delivery. I have this from the um, Kitten Stitcher Advent box from a couple years ago. And it's got Mrs. Claus on there. It's really cute. Midnight Watch from Blackbird Designs. Ooh, Byron Blackbird back in the house. The artsy housewife. Pretty awesome. This is one of, like, I have a short list of Christmas designs that I absolutely must stitch. So there's maybe like four or five on that list. And this is one of them, Pomegranate Santa. I've just always loved this piece. Several years back, someone on Instagram stitched this on a dark green. It was beautiful. I don't know if I would also stitch it on a dark green, but it definitely um, got a lot of attention. That stitch did, and it kind of opened up possibility. I think, speaking of the gold fabric, I don't know why it's in my head. I, would, I could possibly stitch this on gold. You could stitch it on like a charcoal or a blue, um, but a green would be beautiful too. But that's on that short list, and every year I think of starting it, and then I don't, because I get overwhelmed with the holidays. Okay, Jack's Bash. I think everyone knows this one by now. More copies of A Country Winter by Plum Street Sampler. So good, this one was back ordered for a while, but it's back now. Dear Friends from Plum Street Samplers. That's so cute. Oh, this is another Christmas one I love. Farmstead Christmas from Plum Street Samplers. 
how cute is that? Merry Christmas. A, a Merry Christmas wish to all of you guys. Restocking Pretty Bird from Artsy Housewife. I'm watching the Curious Crafters stitch that. It's a beautiful one. Cats on Parade from Plum Street Samplers. Uh, Blackbird Designs. Stranded Jacks from Plum Street Samplers. Mm -hmm. I sold out of the Peppermint and Holly booklets, so I got more of those in stock. I think I'm going to be stitching something out of there soon. Spoiler alert. Okay. Ooh, heavy. Uh, Midnight Silhouette. This is a hand applique and piecing quilt from Blackbird Designs. Love that. I've shown my quilt top in the past. I just need to hand quilt it. But I wanted to add that. Or restock it. It's sold out. Same with uh, my pretties from Plum Street Samplers. And Boris, Olga's buddy. So cute. Let's see, new edition Horse Country Holiday from Artful Offerings. It's a classic. Country Sampler did like a famous conversion of that years ago. I just saw Carol Saltbox Stitcher show this one today. This is Gathering the Green Sampler from Stacey Nash. Beautiful, that yellow house. Uh, Silent Night Pink Heap and Ornament from Stacey Nash. Merry Christmas Pink Heap from Stacey Nash. Salem Hill Sampler. From Stacy, yep, from Scarlet House. And bottom of the box. Oh, wait, this is a new one. Winter Pears from Artful Offerings. I just thought those were very creative and pretty. So that was a good one. I got some work to do. For sure. Okay. I'm gonna pause real quick so I can put this box away and grab the next one. And now we have a big box from Carriage House Samplings from Marty Bear. So, in here we have, these are, I think I showed them last time I had a box from her, 1999 Christmas sampler. And 2000 Christmas sampler. They're just really cute, smaller designs. Come on the cardstock, and I was running low, so got more of those. All right, um, I think a good amount of these are restock, but uh, maybe there's something you haven't seen before. This is an American landscape. Autumn at Hawk Run Hollow. I was just watching Judy from the Bunny Stitcher and she just finished this and then was working on Christmas at Hawthorne Hollow. And she's like more than halfway done with that one. I guess there were older whips of hers. And yeah, it just made me want to stitch them all even more. Here's Autumn Blessings. I love this one. Birds and the bees. Look at that funky legged deer. Got some more cat copies of Cat's Eyes. So cute. Speaking of Christmas at Hawk Run Hall, I sold out of that, so I got some more copies. And yeah, I've been selling silk packs, and the colors are so fun. My sister said she just wants all the colors. She knows she won't stitch this huge design, but she wants all the colors. I, of course, said no. Can't just have the all this. All right, Curse of the Raven. Oops, sorry, I showed the chart. Curse of the Raven. What 
Enchanted. You can stitch that version there. And I have silks for both of those versions. It's so cute. Frederick. And his girlfriend, Frederica. And those beautiful fall colors. So pretty. So beautiful. Okay. Halloween at Hawker and Hollow. I'm slowly adding the Hawker and Hollows. They, um, you know, they're pricier than usual charts. So I've had to take my time a little bit. But I'm getting there. And then my favorite that I'm stitching right now. Well, I don't know about my favorite. Okay, I don't know. That's fair. But this is what I'm stitching right now. So it's definitely top of my list. This is Houses of Hawker and Hollow. I am loving stitching this. Okay. Matter's Choice. I feel like I have several stitchy friends who have stitched that over the years. It's a classic. A mind independent and free. It says, No glory I covet, no riches I want, ambition and beauty are nothing to me. The one thing I beg of good heaven to grant is a mind independent and free. Mary Beth Marsh is my name, and with my needle I worked the same. And I always like picture that that lady stitched it. <laughs> That's Mary Beth. So over like the last year, I've been kind of obsessed with this one and I really want to stitch it. Um, this, it's not the photo. I think maybe the printing isn't the greatest with the colors, but um, it still is just like browns. <laughs> Only one you. I just, I want this stitched and like, I just want it on my wall. I can't explain it. I did have a lovely customer ask for um, a custom silk pack for it. And I kind of just want to make silk packs for the shop just for myself, which is kind of why I do them. Um, but yeah, I would really love to stitch that. I think it look, looks like a fun stitch too. It'd be a comfortable stitch. And I really want to stitch this one too. Pear Orchard Farm. I think it's that dog. Oh, that's like dusty. Okay. Primitive stocking. One of several stockings. Oof. Sampler stocking. This is a beauty. I've got silk packs for that one now, too. Got some favorite floss tubers that are stitching it. Ooh. Shenandoah. Love that horse. The song they sing. I kind of want to stitch just the uh, scene at the top. But it says, It was early, early in the spring. The birds did whistle and sweetly sing. Changing their notes from tree to tree, the song they sang, they sang for me. mind drowning in patterns. It'd be worth it. Sorry. Marty's really nice and sends them alphabetized, so I'm trying to keep them that way. Sparrow Creek. Another one I really want to stitch. Box of things I want to stitch. This is a portrait of me. Just kidding. Strawberry Blonde. Look at that big strawberry. I'm not so Could be. Um, Tomcat Alley. It's another fun one. It's 50 by 104. It's really not that big. I'll whip that up, right? Sure. Tulip Patch. Oh gosh, Carol was just showing this one in the last video, and I 
actually, those of you that have only been around Flossy for a couple years, if you watch Emily C, you might have not, never seen this, but she stitched this years ago, The Village of Hawthorne Hollow. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It might be the next one on my list when I finish my current one 20 years from now. <laughs> I think Maddie said she wants to start this one. What are you doing with yourself, Maddie? Why haven't you started this? Isn't that beautiful? And Emily like personalized a bunch of hers. I remember. I remember. It was years ago. I'm sure you can see it on her Instagram. Wash day. We're at the W's. The last one. And the Willow Tree Sampler. <sighs> that was amazing. It's good for you. It's good for me. Anyway, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. It makes it more fun for me to open these boxes when I know there's other stitchers opening it with me. So um, thank you for that. I am going to um, try to be a little bit of an adult and get ready for my guests that are coming. I always have that, I have that nervous energy. I don't entertain a lot at my house. But um, these are my, my, they're kind of like, you know, they're my oldest friends. They're like family. So it's less pressure. It'll be plus. I think there's going to be like some music paper plates. I don't know. Maybe. Um, so I hope that you all are doing well. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.